that today even i i when i go on ship i feel sometimes a young engineer at times he feels that he is deserves to get a promotion though i see that he still lacks the basic concepts or the knowledge do you face such challenges and how do you handle them these challenges are always faced so you know basically we are to, as clear when you get someone on board spend 10 minutes with him like uh, when you do the sign on interview like i think all companies have sign on interview you tell him because a secretary might come on board and he's with the expectations of the last captain but the last captain is a different man and then at the end of the uh, uh, and then in office tenure you say you have not performed so to what uh, what is the standard he supposed to perform to so you have a fourth engineer tell him uh, see uh, your come on ship we have worked before we have worked with many chief engineers leave aside he might have given good reports or bad reports it's not our interest our interest is our, my relationship with you on the ship and how you are performing on the ship a guy can become better from his uh, last ship or he can even become worse we don't know depends on his mental uh, frame of mind of the person this is what i expect from you this is what i expect from you and in case you know he is come new after a month you find he is not doing what you want then you tell him okay i expected you to perform but this is where you are lacking in so if we don't point out you know he is we are experienced people we have definitely more experience than him okay so if we don't point out to him his faults and how is he supposed to improve and then when it comes to give a good report uh, you know they don't think they want everyone wants a good report how can you give him a good report you cannot give him a good report they everyone wants you know to get promoted they want to get promoted on what basis that he learn on the job no that doesn't work you have to perform and show that you are ready for the job so when you go there you fit in maybe small things here and there you know everybody is not 100% but small things here and there we can learn but your ba- like tomorrow you tell me uh, you know nowadays it is easy in the computer you can load and discharge on the computer but when he comes he doesn't know what is cavitation of pumps he will start uh, start running the pump at higher rate when the tanks are low do you think it's fit to be a chief officer no so that is where i think so the, the problem lies both ways what i have interpreted from you things like you have got a very good clarity of thought you talk to them and you tell them your expectations unfortunately i have not done in the past but in the later phase of life after 3 months i'm telling them when the midway report is found okay this is where you're locking and suddenly they feel are we were not never told this so this is where i think as a part of leadership on the very first day i should be telling them as a leader ki these are the things that i expect from you and for that as a leader i need to have a very good clarity of thought i need to know my work and what i expect from others this is one thing which i have learned from this session very importantly what you expect tell them from the on the very first day and then even in midway every one month or two monthly do tell them where they stand and how they can do better how they can improve i think so everybody is going to perform there i think so when there is a big communication gap in between you are not talking to them and suddenly you are keeping in within yourself or talking to second year not telling to third year fourth year and at the end of the quarter you did not do this jai mata di i am not i am just straight away sending your report to the so company everything goes blank the person does not improve he does not respect you and as a leadership you are failed i two things you should tell them in the first time you are meeting them or you know i have a general meeting and tell all the juniors we are all humans give them the opportunity to correct you if you can so t- i tell them maybe sometimes you know i'm walking i'm doing something and suddenly stools are coming i go out on deck if i'm not wearing my safety equipment stop me there and there tell me that i'm not doing it. i will respect you i will never say anything to you because you are taking care of my safety so that way they know there is open communication and the uh, same thing on bridge like i don't know as chief engineer have told them but when i am doing any job uh, when a chief engineer is doing any job in the engine room i'm always there everybody knows that i'm very much interested in engineering also that's why i write a lot of engineering posts so uh, i will tell them the bridge this is what i expect to do and if any one of you all feel i'm not doing what i'm telling you you have the right yeah. to question me and get an answer that clarifies your thought and satisfies you so when you tell them these things they have the confidence to stop work and see effects from other people also <coughs> we as leaders must put this into our youngsters tell them what we expect and tell them that we expect them to correct us also so then they feel okay you know that confidence is there like as i told you there are people who called me there has been a second mate to call me and say captain i'm not feeling okay. can you come up yes okay somebody tell me sir uh, i think you have forgotten to st- uh, put the chin strap thank you thank you very much i appreciate what you have told me so i know what i Okay. Uh, when you push them away, it's all lost. Your respect is lost, and everything is lost. Okay. 